Autobot Skids has learned a lot in the last few years. Frequent battle has hardened him, and partnership with humans have made him more sensitive to the value of life. Now, though he is still an eager warrior, his first priority is always the defense of those under his protection. Keep us, everybody. It's me, Jess. I'll back again for another review. This time, we're looking at from the Dark of the Moon toy line to kick off this Dark of the Moon week. We have Deluxe Class Skids. Now, as you can see, his alt mode is the Chevy Spark. I have to say, it looks really nice. I really do like the color scheme they, put, they gave it. I really dig the green racing stripe right on the back, and as well as the painted side mirrors. Even the back is nicely painted with the green stripe, the red rear lights, and we got some painted silver. Also, really like the translucent plastic they use for the windows, and as well for the windshield, even though you can see Skid's head. And he works really well. Now, as you're probably all aware, the main gimmick in this toy line is the Mech Tech weapon system. As you can see, this is a Mech Tech weapon, and you can actually plug it into his vehicle mode. As you can see here, we got some ports right here. And if you just plug the peg in, it fits in. And if you pull this plunger, boom! Extended barrels. Alright, let's just take a look at him. Let's start with the head, torso area. This gets his head, you know his head. The very quirky design. This time it's painted black and green. And I still dig it. I still dig the head sculpt. Very neat, very interesting. The chest only thing that's really different is this ab section with the Autobot symbol. It's very neat, very cool. Uh, his arm is interesting. I mean, it's a definitely, I would say it's not a very good design. I mean, it's very thin, not really digging that. And the fact that you just see the inside right here is not fully covered, like this part, really does, you know, this is a bit of an eyesore. Same thing with this arm, again, it's very skinny. This has the big fist right here, so there you go. And you got this panel right here, some nice detail inside, it's pretty neat. And we get into the biggest eyesore of this figure, the feet. Look at this thing. This is ridiculous. Look at it. Look at it. Articulation for skids here. His head can go all the way around. Can uh, bob side to side. And can't really look down that much. The arms. They are on a weird joint. I mean, they can go in and out like so. But since their arm is connected here and this can't rotate around, the arm can only rotate up to that point. Mm-hmm. Same thing for the back. It can go out like that, but it just looks weird. Then of course he's got the ball joint here, so it could go elbow, rotation, what have you. This arm, same thing, except this can go in and out. Alright, he has no waist articulation, big bummer, but his legs do go forward and back. And they can they can, they can, <laughs> can't bend back, but, uh, okay, what the, this, bends, bends forward, can't bend back, bends forward but not back, bends forward and not back, oh, Mark, <laughs> yeah, hide your face in shame, okay, this figure doesn't have any knee joints, it's got an inverted joint, and this just for the transformation. Besides that, he cannot bend his knees back. That is a big, big problem with me. I like to pose my figures. He can't get cool poses with these legs. No sirree. But I have found a way around it. You're just going to take his legs and turn them around. Because as you saw... He does have heel spurs so they can, you know, be substitute as tiny feet. And there you go. He's got no knee articulation like so. Granted, he's got this hell of a big ass heel spur. But you can get him into some actual poses this time. So with me, that's an improvement. Yeah. Alright, so here you have his gun. And to get him to hold it, in the instructions, 
you have to flip this around and fold it down. The thing is, this thing does not go down, so it just hangs in the air like that. Don't like that. So you just plug this in like so, and then boom. I don't like it because it just floats. So what I do, I just have it hold it in a smaller hand, and then boom, he's holding a gun. Cool. So overall, Skids is a um, okay figure. Vehicle mode is nice. Robot mode, a lot of problems. Don't like the arms that much. Really dislike the legs. Articulation, oh boy. Very weird articulation, especially with the lack of knees. I mean, you could get the little mod thing with just turning around his legs, but I can say you can skip him. He's not that great of a figure. He's okay if you like the twins like I do. You'll go ahead and pick him up or not. That is your choice. So hopefully you enjoyed this review. I am Jay Asante with Dark and Moon Skids. And I will talk to you all tomorrow for my second review, baby.